Voices Radio. We're here at We Out Here with the legend Louis Vega. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Can we start by talking about your performance last night? I mean, just wow. Honestly, wow. You know, uh, it was a beautiful experience. The people were so energetic and into it. They were singing the songs, they were cheering. I mean, it was like a soccer match, you know? <laughs> no, it really felt good. It felt, uh, that is what we were connecting with, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and the band that I have is, a true all-star crew of geniuses that I've been working with for years and uh, some are new as well and I'm really excited about you know what happened last night because uh, to bring up legends like Brian Jackson, Moody Man, uh, Didi Bridgewater with us on stage and doing what we did uh, what was really uh, uh, another level. I think iconic is the word. It was so amazing last night. And you also hinted last night, Brian Jackson came out, Moody Man came out, and you hinted at an album, 17 tracks if I remember correctly. When can we expect that? Can you give us any more info on that? Yeah, it's actually the first album that Kenny and I's Masters at Work have produced in over 23 years. So we're really excited about it. Uh, it's a whole album of uh, Brian Jackson, Gil Scott Heron material, and new material as well. And there's a lot of amazing guests on it. Uh, Black Thought from The Roots, Lisa Fisher, Raheem Devon, R Rashawn Patterson, uh, Ra the Poet, uh, Rich Medina, uh, uh, Wes Felton, oh goodness, uh, Jay Ivey. Uh, it really uh, is an ensemble uh, and cast and crew of, of another group of talented geniuses that have come together to uh, pay homage to Brian Jackson, Gil Scott Heron, and, uh, and it's coming out in 2025. It's going to be on BBE Records. Amazing. That's so exciting. And also, going back to Elements of Life, so how did that first come about and how did you put something like Last Night together? Well, we've been touring and we've been a band since 2005 uh, for 19 years already. So, um, I mean, you know, we've traveled the world from the Montreux Jazz Festival worldwide with actually uh, uh, with Giles Peterson to uh, Pori Jazz Festival to the Blue Notes around the world, New York, Tokyo, uh, festivals and all kinds of wonderful uh, live venues. and. Um, Elements of Life came about in 99. It was a song that was written by Blaze and myself and um, featured Josh Milan on vocals and uh, Cindy Mizell. From there, we just spanned off this whole album. You know, then Anane got involved. Um, she became an uh, 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 integral member of the band as well, bringing world music and her Cape Verdean roots to Elements of Life. Then we have Raomi Dong, who is an amazing uh, guitarist and singer who uh, was also part of Elements of Life from the first album and the second album, Extensions. So, you know, we had this process so many years of uh, uh, touring together. We had the Eclipse album, which was a, a beautiful album that we put together. Um, so now we're working on the new album. Yeah. And one of the songs we did last night, the third number, was called uh, Calle Hong, is uh, co-written by Axel Tosca, one of my keyboardists of over 14 years, and myself and it's on the next album so we got to premiere some new stuff uh you know we got a lot of amazing guests for the next album jose james dd bridgewater robert yeah. glasper and dd bridgewater came out last night as well that was yes insane. yes that's a new relationship thanks to Giles peterson he he uh connected us and uh ever since she saw it last night she really saw the level of of musicality that we had yeah. so i definitely know that we'll be getting into the studio together along with other artists for the next album and of course our you know our 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 artists are Cindy Mizell, Josh Milan, Lisa Fish is there, Anane. We have the whole family that come in to record when we do the albums. Yeah. That was honestly one of the best live sets I think I've ever seen last really? night, Louis. Yeah, I was blown away. Me and my friends were just in awe of you, like whoa! It just kept bringing out guests, and it kept getting better and better. So lots Beautiful. of people from Voices, you're a big inspiration to them. You feature in lots of my sets, certainly. But where do you get your inspiration from? Oh my God, my inspiration can come from my son, my wife, it can come from going to a show, uh, it can come from many artists over the years, from Stevie Wonder to Quincy Jones to Hector Lavoe to the Fania to uh, Herbie Hancock, I mean, you know, it's, it's just 
I mean, even the doors, I mean, there's just so much that I've absorbed all my life. And I think that is inside of me. And when I'm making music, it really comes out. And I think um, a lot of these inspirations are just different uh, parts and different times of my life that are part of my soul. Yeah, for sure, you can see that 100%. And then lastly, we're out, we're out here, of course. What, what do you love so much about this festival? Why do you think it's so special? Well, you know, first of all, the curation. I mean, you know, Giles Peterson does work really hard and I can see that on who he wants to bring to this festival. And I tell anybody around the world, I said, if you want to go to a festival where it's about music, it's about all kinds of soul and um, really, connecting with people and it's about family you got to come to we out here because uh it's a really amazing and uh, incredible experience and also are you performing again today i've heard a little rumor i'm very excited well you know giles you know uh, uh, i said giles should i stay an extra day he goes oh my goodness if you stay an extra day i have an idea i'm like oh there you go so he said louis you know how i've always wanted you to play at dingwalls well we have Dingwalls here. Today's the day. We have Dingwalls here on Sunday. He goes, why don't you play a set? And I said, okay, sure. And he said, oh, okay, well, uh, seven to nine, that's it. We're doing it tonight. And um, then he's like, well, why don't you close off the bowl with me? It's the last stage we have open. And he goes, why don't you do an hour there? I said, okay, so now it turned into this whole, you know, we're gonna so have a good time. closing out the festival, headlining and closing out. Oh goodness, we're gonna have a good time, you know, because I get to do the whole eclectic jazz Latin thing. and and just all kinds of great music. And then I get to take you to the clubs tonight at the bowl. So, you know, he gave me the best of, uh, of, uh, of the worlds. Can't wait for that. Thank you so much, Louis Vega. Thanks, thanks for having me, man. It was incredible. Thank you.